historic weekend of spiritual teaching at the RCCG Living Bread Church anniversary, as the Beautiful Gate Drama Ministers presents a drama series in the city of Newcastle, United Kingdom. It's bleeding so much. And God is really looking forward for men and women that will stand for him in this generation. It's a time in our history that you will discover that so many things are going wrong. God is looking for watchmen and women that will stand in the gap. People are doing different kinds of things with their lives. In our country, United Kingdom, in Newcastle, people are doing different things at different times. Some people are wasting their lives. Like people waste resources. Some people are spending their lives. Like you spend money. And once you spend it, you don't even get anything back. Some people are careless with their lives. And that's all you see. Careless with their spiritual lives. Careless with this one life that they are living. And some people are investing their lives. These are people that God can count on. These are people that God can say, I can vouch for, like he said to Abraham, that I know Abraham. Can God say that about you? In Isaiah 62, if you read verse 6 and 7, you will discover that God is saying that I have set watchmen upon the walls of Jerusalem. We shall never hold their peace day or night. And he's saying that these people, they will sing praises to him through their lives. Can God count on you? Can God depend on you? Is there a time that we can say indeed you are standing for God? We have many people today who know the word of God but do not know the God of the world. We are living at a time when the blind are leading the blind. And the Bible says that if the blind leads the blind, both of them will fall into the ditch. And many on the way of destruction. How are the mighty falling? And the weapons of war perishing. You can still see the flag flying. God is expecting a lot from you and me. For this flag not to fly, not to fly at half mast. God is depending on you. Paraventure, if this has to fly at half mast, you know that there is a trouble somewhere. I pray you be there for the mighty God. Yeah. I pray you will show His praise because that's what the Lord is looking for. People that will show His praise in the land. May the Lord depend on you.
Father, I give you praise. Lord Jesus, I worship you. <laughs> Only me? Me? When did I get to the UK? I got him an interview. Interview letter. Interview letter. Not just an officer job, but to be a contract manager. Ah, Zama. Zama, a child of nobody. Ah, Father, I give you praise. Don't of the Bible, I worship you. Eh? Lord, I bless your name. You overweigh my diary with goodness. I mean, you don't even demand any salary from me. Ah, Father, I say thank you, Lord. I worship you, O Lord, for this great favor I have received. Eh? Me, Zama. Zama. In UK, just three months ago, oh, I go to UK, to this country, just within three months, and God opened the door for me. I just said I should try it. I didn't even know they were coming for this interview. Ah, ah, ah. Jesus, I bless you. I give you glory. I worship you. I thank you for this wonderful favor. Lord, and I thank you. And I promise you, Lord, that because of this you've done for me, I will show forth your praises. My life will be a praise to you. Anywhere I get to, I will praise you. My life will declare your wonders. I, I pledge my allegiance to you. I will save you all the day, Lord. In that office, the moment I get there, I think the course already is giving me this job. I'm, I receive it by faith. Yes, I receive it by faith. And I give you praise because by the time I get there, Lord Jesus, hmm, you make my life to be a great testimony. Before I talk, people will be saved. People, when they are having problems, then there will be a turn around for them. Lord, I bless you. Oh, I just worship you. I adore you. Ah, oh, let me go and show this to Pastor. Let me testify. Because on Sunday, by the time I come back from Sunday service, ah, oh, I'll be coming with testimony. Let me go and show Pastor this one. Let me go and show Pastor this one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hey baby, how are you? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't tell you before I traveled. Sorry, I have so many things. It's not like a pleasure travel, bro. I just went for a train, just a week in California. Oh, sorry. I will make it. Don't worry. I will actually see you this evening, okay? I'm telling you, I'm very fucked up. I just landed yesterday and I'm in the office now. I got to go with my boss. Right? How are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> it's a long time. I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, I just came back yesterday from the train. Oh, how was the train? It was great. Did you enjoy California at all? I did. But it wasn't the pressure. Okay? Yeah. You know, we were loaded. It's it's sunny there, though. Good to see you back. I just came back now, you see? I was just coming from the kitchen. To oh. have a cup of tea. It's, it's like you actually, you know, had some weight as well. Ah, uh, tell me about now. Good <laughs> to see you anyway. Uh, this oh, interview, have you concluded about? Uh, uh, I was, actually, I was supposed to come back to your office before. Maybe I should just leave you. Okay. Um, I'm trying to compile the date. I've gone through about four of you. At the moment, is this guy the last guy we interviewed? Uh, uh, how did you? Uh, how do you see the candidates? Those sure. candidates? Well, they've been great. Some of them have got good. Uh, they've got good experience for what we have. You know, especially the particular position we want to fill. We need it for the contract we are looking for. So we need that lady on the list. You know that what the person I think is the only lady in the, in the that, way. Yes. How do you see a record? Honestly, sorry. She has no experience. She just landed in the UK. She has no more UK experience. Has, especially the position we are trying to create. I know. She may look inexperienced, but I don't know. Something just keep within me. Something within me is, is saying maybe we should pick and select that lady. <laughs> she may look inexperienced, she's still new in the UK, but I'm just having a personal persuasion. I'm thinking she will be able to do the job properly pro 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 I'm sorry, sir, but you know how push 
somebody in position of management has I know, but for procurement, you need somebody who is enthusiastic, somebody, you know, that is, you know, jolly jolly. And I think she's got that flair, she's got that, you know, possibility of fulfilling that role. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, uh, when we see on Friday, I want you to, before then, uh, consider and then we weigh the different uh, pros and cons. Yeah, I'll, and I'll go through their saving. Okay. Yeah. I'll give some recommendation. I'll bring it to you. I'm really tired, actually. You know, I just landed, so but I wanted to propose a big update today. Okay, okay. Is that? Okay, do update. I know. Thank you, sir. I'm very grateful. All right, sir. Enjoy your update. I will. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let me quickly call this. Hello. Ah, just to tell you that I'll be back home soon. Ah, all right. I'll see you. I told you I'm gonna make it up. All right then. Okay. I'll see you soon. You've been working here for six months now, and you know Collins, your supervisor, is still in urgent need of the gospel. Remember, God does not delight in the, de the death of a sinner, but for a sinner to repent and be saved. Come over, yes. 
I need to see you now, quickly. Yes, please. Pick it quickly, please. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, colleagues. Yeah. Nobody actually came to welcome me all the way from Vancouver. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, anyway. You cut your journey short. What I have to return quickly because of a meeting we've got at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, the good thing is, I met your wife. Oh, yes. You did it so good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yes. know you've got a very beautiful wife. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, <laughs> you are lucky. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you. She's beautiful, but with some packing. <laughs> huh? <laughs> So how often do you visit Vancouver now that you walk all the world, you know, far away from home? Uh, because we've got a lot of things uh, around to do here, we need to be comfortable, so I don't go very often. Uh, uh, you you can't be doing that at the expense of your family life. God is very interested in family, honestly. And the way I want you to be approaching things, and this is just from me, you know, I'm just talking to you on a personal level now. Honestly, it's a good thing, God, it's a good thing that you should, you know, Take your family very serious. Without the family, you can't be anywhere. Yes, so I'm trying, but it's only because if I don't work, I mean, you won't pay me, then how would they be able to enjoy themselves? Know, but but them. marriage can affect you a lot. If your marriage isn't settled, your life is not going to be settled. If your kids are not settled, you're not going to be settled as well. You need to give it to you. Need to give it some very good talk. I'll give. It's just a personal advice. How are you getting on? Well, I'm fine. Everything has been okay. The only thing is maybe I have to work on now. I'll do that later. And I'll give you some advice. 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 I'll give you Okay, um, if you can make it to the meeting, that will be fine. But if you don't have anything, you don't have to say anything in the meeting. Just, just be there. Okay. Yes. All right. So I'll, I'll try and make it. Okay, sir. Thank you very uh, much. Have you seen the uh, what's that name now? The new, Sama. the new star. Sama, yes. Ah, she should be in that office. Okay. Ah, uh, let me try and see if I can give her a shout okay. as well. Okay. All right, sir. Yeah. Ah, yeah, she comes. Oh, Hi, Sama, how are you? I'm fine. How's everything? Very great. How's your new job? How are you getting on? Yeah, it's wonderful. Honestly, something told me that you are the right person for the job. Oh, thank you. And I'm really persuaded. I'm, I mean, in fact, I'm really excited that you are doing very well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I saw you on the program. Yeah, I just wanted to say that now. Ah, I wanted to say So, you, you sing? Oh, yeah. I'm You're a, a Christian? I'm, yeah, I'm ah, a child of God. Oh, ah, that's of God. nice. I'm a Christian as well. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really, really ah, good. Thank you. So, maybe God really places it in my heart to, you know, persuade the staff, I mean, the, the manager, to get you on board. Oh, thank you. And I'm really glad that you are work. And I promise I'm not disappointed. One thing I want you to understand, oh, you are not here just for work alone. Okay. I know you came from a foreign country, but make sure that it is not only job that we are here for. The word of God says something. He said that, what shall he profit a man to gain the whole world? And lose his own soul. Is that what will a man give in exchange for his soul? That is, it is possible to make all the pounds and make all the dollars. And at the end of the day, if you don't have a record in heaven, if your account is not in heaven, if you are storing it here, moth and rust will corrupt it. But if your account is in heaven, I can bet you, you have a better life at the end of the day. Eternity is longer than today that we see. Thank you. Just a warning. Yeah. Well, you are doing very well. Oh, you, I wish sir. you all the best. Thank you. Thank Make sure you keep up. Keep it up. I will surely. Thank you. I will you. See you soon. Enjoy. Bye. 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 That's a good compliment, isn't it? Ah, at least I'll be here for good five years. Then my work permit sets will become a British citizen. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Thank you. Just today, so 
so so furious. And it's raining. How am I going home now? Hey, I didn't have an umbrella. How hey, how are you? Oh yeah, I'm good. Yeah, hi. What do you need? Uh, I'm just about going home now. Uh, oh. Uh, I was about to leave so that you can close the office today. Oh, okay. No problem. That's fine. Anyway, uh, that's fine. We can go to just leave it. But it's really hard then. The weather is really hard. So how will you get home? Uh, I'll pick my umbrella then. Just in a minute. Uh, I can get home out of the fire. Don't worry. I'll be here. Ah, no, no, don't worry. It's okay. Ah, no. I, I have my wedding jacket. It's yeah. all right. Okay. I can go through that trouble. I will give you a bit. It's all right. What is it? What is it? Uh, I can be now. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be everything to you. You seem to be pushing me away. I know. I know. I know. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll know, but I just want to get my things. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. I've invited you for a drink, even when you were, I mean, when we were celebrating your uh, end of probation period, you just seemed fine. I've tried all sorts, just make you happy and make you feel relaxed. Why are you doing this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate it. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. We'll, 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 we'll do that when we do something. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, or, or you meet me in the car then? Oh uh, yeah, I'll meet you. Oh, you know where I park? Uh, um, I'll find my way. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll be waiting in the car, okay? Okay. What should I do? Zama, favor is deceitful. Beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Be careful. Be careful. Anyway, I will not get wet to get home anyway. Somebody will give me a lift. So just maybe a lift.
I believe spiritually God still loves you. It's never too late. You can still be a praise if you can change your attitude. You can change your life. What can I do? I'm willing to help you. But you are very good nowhere to start. But let's start spiritually. Don't, don't, don't. I want you to apologize to God. It's not me, Mr. Garrett. It's God that's talking about here. Apologize to him, honestly. I'm sorry, oh Lord. And he can take you back. And no matter the mistake, if you have led to somebody else like going to come. Oh Lord Jesus. I know, but it's never too late. Help me, Lord. Even the mistake, I will be sending, we will send you anything we want back in your country. Ah, Jesus, help me. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There is a criminal record on your file already, which we cannot change. And your office is hanging on to that. He said that's the reason why they cannot renew your visa. You know the way things are hard in this country now. Any small excuse, they want to use it against you. You see, it's not me, it's not, it's not the company. The company would like to keep you. I know you are supposed to be a Christian, but now that things have changed. I hate calling sad the wife. The Lord. Shall we just bow our heads as we talk to God tonight? I don't know whether God has actually spoken to you uh, through this drama in one way or the other. We are all supposed to be a praise in the heart. Are you a praise for the Lord in your own way? I want you to speak to God and say, Lord, in any way in which I have not been a praise, but I'm doing my own thing in my own way. I want you to ask for the, the, the grace of God, for a transformation tonight, for a change. I want you to ask that the Lord will touch your heart and renew your life at the moment. Can we just rise up? It will grace to follow upon that grace to follow. Give me grace to follow. Your grace is enough. Sing it. Give me grace to follow upon that grace to follow. Father, I will not disappoint you. Can you open your mouth and pray for one minute? I will never disappoint you as a child of God, as a pastor, as a pastor's wife, as a worker. I will not disappoint you. Hosea chapter 7, verse number 8 and 9. The Bible says, Ephraim has mixed himself with strangers. Ephraim is like a cake that is not turned. He says, strangers are before the strength. I will not be like Ephraim. Father, in the name of Jesus. Can you pray? We are just 30 more seconds to pray. Just pray. Open your mouth and pray. I will never disappoint my Lord, my Father. I will never disappoint you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will fulfill the destiny that the Lord has proposed to me for in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you stretch your right hand to heaven and begin to ask for grace? The Bible says not of him that will it. It's not of him that think he can stand. Receive grace now. Receive it. Receive grace now. Receive it. Raise your right hand to heaven and begin to receive grace. Raise your right hand to heaven and begin to receive grace. Raise your right hand to heaven and begin to receive grace. Receive it now. 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 Father, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we ask, we will not end up like Ephraim. As we read in Osea chapter 7, Ephraim mixed himself with strangers, and his strength was devoured. We pray we will not mix ourselves with strangers. In the mighty name of Jesus. We use the opportunity to pray for ourselves. 
pray for this church, pray for every member of this church, pray for every visitor. We ask that you will work strong in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, I will take one moment and pray. It's anniversary we are celebrating. Let's take one or two minutes and pray for this church. Amen. Let's pray for this church. And we're going to pray that in this ninth year, the Lord will strengthen living bread livers. Did you hear me? Say, Father. Father. I thought I would say it better. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. In this night here, year, make this church, make this church to work stronger. To work there will not be a better yesterday. Can you raise your voice and pray? Raise your voice and pray. If you believe you love this church, if you believe you came here to celebrate, let me see your mouth move it. If you believe you have come here not to just eat and sit down, if you believe you have come to sow a seed much more than your money, pray. There will not be a better yesterday. In the name of Jesus. Let's this church move. Greater and greater. I am. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can your amen turn that very well? Can your amen turn that very well? Sir, the Lord gave me a prophetic word for this church. He said this year is a year of answered prayers. If you check Acts, Acts chapter 3, verse number 1, you all know the story. The Bible says it was the ninth hour. Peter and John, they went to the beautiful day, you remember. The Bible says they saw that man that was slain. The man looked up to them and wanted to receive something. He said, sit down, go, we have number. What we have, we give to you. And they prayed for him. Do you remember what happened? There was a miracle. There was answered prayers. The Bible said the man jumped up and began to praise God. This year, this church will praise God. Amen. Many people will come to this altar to praise Amen. God. Because there will be answered prayers. Amen. Say, Father. Father. It's a year of answered prayers. Let us see multiple testimonies. I want you to begin to pray. Say, Father, it's a year of answered prayers. Let us see multiple testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this ninth hour, in this ninth year, let it happen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I, I, I want us to pray very well. Just one more prayer point. If you, if you progress and go to Acts chapter number 10. Amen. Shout hallelujah if you are listening to me. Acts chapter number 10. You read verse number 3. The Bible says Cornelius was in his house. In the ninth hour. In the ninth hour. A man appeared to him like a bright light. And said Cornelius. He said your prayers and your hands have come to God. And your prayers are what? Answer. In verse number 30, they are same at chapter 10. Cornelius was recounting. He said, I was in the ninth hour. I was just in my house. A man appeared to him. Somewhere is here, you go home with answer prayer. Amen. I said, somebody that is saying amen, you go home with answer prayer. Amen. So I've come to celebrate with this parish. May you, your prayers be answered. Amen. At 65, verse number 1, he said, we have come to God. Or to him that answered prayers. This year will be a year of answered prayers. Amen. It is your ninth hour, brother. Amen. It is your ninth hour, sister. Amen. Raise your right hand to heaven. Say, Father. Amen. I, go, I want you to say it better. Say, Father. Amen. It is the ninth hour. Amen. It is the ninth year of this parish. Amen. Surround us Amen. with answered prayers. Amen. Can you pray for one moment? Amen. I receive answered prayers upon my life and parish. I receive answered prayers in my family. I receive answered prayers. I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus.